The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom my soul delights. I've sent my spirit upon him. He will bring fair judgment to the nations. He does not cry out or raise his voice. His voice is not heard in the street. He does not break the crushed reed or snuff the faltering wick. Faithfully, he presents fair judgment. He will not grow faint. He will not be crushed until he has established fair judgment on earth. And the coast and islands are waiting for his instruction. Thus says God, Yahweh, who created the heavens and spread them out, who hammered into shape the earth and what comes from it, who gave breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk on it. I, Yahweh, have called you in saving justice. I have grasped you by the hand and shaped you. I have made you a covenant of the people and light to the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to free captives from prison, and those who live in darkness from the dungeon. And our response is from Psalm 27. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? Yahweh is the fortress of my life. Whom should I dread? When the wicked advance against me to eat me up, they, my opponents, my enemies, are the ones who stumble and fall. Though an army pitch camp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, my trust will never be shaken. This I believe. I shall see the goodness of Yahweh in the land of the living. Put your hope in Yahweh. Be strong. Let your heart be bold. Put your hope in Yahweh. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Six days before the Passover, Jesus went to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom he had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there. Martha waited on them, and Lazarus was among those at table. Mary brought in a pound of very costly ointment, pure nard, and with it anointed the feet of Jesus, wiping them with her hair. That house was filled with the scent of the ointment. Then Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the man who was to betray him, said, why was this ointment not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He was in charge of the common fund and used to help himself to the contents. So Jesus said, leave her alone. Let her keep it for the day of my burial. You have the poor with you always. You will not always have me. Meanwhile, a large number of Jews heard that he was there and came not only on account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. Then the chief priest decided to kill Lazarus as well, since it was on his account that many of the Jews were leaving them and believing in Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord.